These are my friends. These are the incredible workers that helped us so much with the COVID. Uh, we can call it many different things, from China virus. I don't want to go through all the names, because some people may get insulted, but that's the way it is. These are great, great people, doctors, nurses, uh, firemen, uh, policemen. We want to thank you all. You have been incredible, and we want to thank you, and all of the millions of people that you represent. Thank you all very much. Great job. Thank you. Thank you all very much. So tell me a little about your stories. How about we'll start with you? I'm a postal worker. Delivered to the senior community during COVID-19. Good. And we're taking good care of our postal workers. Absolutely. <laughs> that I can tell you. Believe me, we're not getting rid of our postal workers, you know? They'd like to sort of put that out there. If anyone does, it's the Democrats, not the Republicans. I want to thank you very much and thank everybody in that whole beautiful post office system. We appreciate it. How about you? I'm a custodian at the post really? office as well. What do you do exactly? Clean up everybody's you know, mess and everybody's germs and all that. Can I tell I, you that that world, that profession will never be out of business. You yeah, know that, for right? Sure. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. For Thank you. Me. And how about you? Um, I'm a registered nurse, President Good. Trump. I uh, work at a New Jersey hospital. It's called Virtual Willingboro Hospital. Right. Um, I also represent an organization of professional nurses. It's called the National Association of Catholic Nurses. Very good. But I want to tell you, sir, as a nursing supervisor, I am so in awe of your leadership. Honestly, uh, I know many people have said often interesting things, but it takes a true leader to be able to ignore all that stuff and do what is right and not be offended by all the words being said. Yeah. And you really do show that positive spirit to us. And as nurses, I appreciate that. But just as an individual, I'm grateful for that. Well, I'm for the nurses. I'm for the doctors. I'm for everybody. We just have to make this China virus go away, and it's happening. Please, go ahead. I'm a police officer in Inglewood, Colorado, and I contracted COVID in late March and recovered. That means we don't have to be afraid of you at all. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm good to Once go. you're recovered, you know, we have the whole thing with plasma happening. Mm -hmm. That means your blood is very valuable. You know that, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Great. Please. I'm a detention deputy at the Kern County Sheriff's Department out in California. Great. And uh, I also contracted COVID um, into March and recovered from that also. How long was your problem? Um, I was sick about 10 days, really bad. I got everything besides a cough. Um, but recovered. I was off work for a month and a half, and I work in our local county jails. Did they do anything specifically to help you recover? They gave me z packs medication, cough syrup. Okay, and I won't even ask you about the hydroxychloroquine, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's a shame what they've done to that one, but, but I took it. I took the z pack also, and zinc. I want to thank you all very much. It's an honor to have you in the White House. You're fantastic people, and the people you represent, you represent an incredible group of people, and uh, we love you all. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.